The following is intended for adult audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. And by adult, I mean like a real adult. Not like me. Look who's back! Look, 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 who, look who's talking. Uh, it's been a while. And, uh, you know, it's been a, a pretty rough last couple of years. So there is Bonnie? Yeah, husband Jack, she likes that type of stuff. Yeah, I can think of seven good uses of a cadaver today. No. Goodbye, Dr. Cool Dr. World. Goodbye, Cool World again. But I'm back now, and I decided to kick things off a little game I found on the Linux software manager out of all places. A little game called Citadella, Citadella, Citadella? I have no idea. But it's, uh, apparently it's a, it's a, it's a PC conversion of an old Amiga game out of all the systems on the planet. And, uh, it was, uh, created in Poland. And, uh, it's a first-person shooter. Uh, I ha I don't have too much experience with it, so, uh, I thought I'd share it with you guys today. <laughs> Excuse me, I've been very sick lately. But, I'm back, right? That's all that matters. And to help me with that today is my good friend Triclops. How you doing today, Triclops? Life is pain. Existence is suffering. Yep. Yeah, I hear you. But first, a message from our sponsor, which is nobody, because nobody wants to attach their name to this channel. The strange thing about this game was how little I could find about it. The only real source of information I could find was an old SourceForge page that hasn't been updated since 2013. And if I'm being completely honest, this looks like a game I would be 100% into when I was a kid. Like look at these screenshots, this game looks amazing. Well I'm gonna go ahead and stop wasting time. Without further ado, this is Citadella. We gotta choose our language. Polish, Czech. I'm gonna I'm gonna choose English because I'm clearly from England. So the story goes, your reconnaissance scout aboard a space fortress called X-16, tasked with investigating a nearby military base called the Citadel. Upon leaving the station, the Citadel blows up your entire crew, shoots you down, and now you must find six bomb parts to destroy the base on your own. Sounds like Doom with extra steps. Welcome. We just killed your entire crew. Welcome. Buenos dias, señor. What the hell was that? <laughs> So apparently in this game, you can't touch anything but the floor. You touch anything else and you take damage. This looks neat. You see a wall in front of you. Seriously? I see nothing interesting. You see nothing interesting. N nothing at all. <laughs> I need a beer. Make no mistake, while Citadel looks like an interesting retro FPS, it's anything but. It's a frustrating, clunky mess of a game that tries to add its own spin on the genre, but fails in almost every regard. Take for example the weapons, which unlike other games of this era, don't appear on screen at all. You've got a pistol, shotgun, machine gun, flamethrower, bolter, and rocket launcher. All of which feel like they do the same amount of damage as one another. As a matter of fact, the more powerful weapons actually seem to be more of a hindrance than weaker ones. Take for example the flamethrower. If you successfully ignite an enemy with it, you actually have to wait around until the enemy dies before you're able to shoot enemies around them. In the meantime, you have a big flaming wall in front of you that deals damage to you if you get too close. The rocket launcher is also used as doors in this game are the most frustrating mechanic in the entire experience. Enemies in this game can't open doors. So you have to manually open the door yourself to shoot enemies on the other side, but likewise, when enemies shoot you, you launch backwards, closing the door. This means if the rocket launcher is your only weapon, you will just damage yourself trying to keep the door open long enough to clear the room. Then there are these gas canisters that are strategically placed in your path, forcing you to pick them up. They make it so you can't aim your weapon, meaning that you just have to find a safe place and wait it out. I timed this mechanic, 
and it takes forever to wear off. What is the point of this? Just to piss me off? Just make it stop. Another annoying thing about this game is how repetitive the environments are. I don't mind a game like, say, Wolfenstein 3D, where part of the fun is trying to navigate the maze-like levels, but unlike Wolfenstein, every texture in Citadella is exactly the same, making it near impossible to tell if you've reached a new area or not. Also, you think they put up enough no-smoking signs? Good lord. There's also a button that turns off disturbances. I, I, I guess that's good. I don't, I don't like to be disturbed. You know what? Screw that. I want to be disturbed. <laughs> Mardi Gras in there. Oh god, no. All of this, along with the slow movement speed of the dumb touch anything but the floor and you die game mechanic, and you've got yourself a pretty substandard affair. Uh, alright. Anyway, that's that's about as much as I can take. Uh, would I recommend Citadella? The answer is no. If you're looking for a, a good retro FPS time, I could recommend at least a dozen better games than this one. I don't ever see Citadella being looked back on as a definitive game of this era. It's uh, just some obscure title. I don't know why anyone bothers to port it, honestly. It's, uh, it's not very good. But uh, if I have to give it a rating, I would give it two out of 25 harm harmful walls. Is that good? I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. So what did you think, Triclops? Yep, I, uh, I agree. So anyway, guys, this has been Roach the Human. Thank you so much for sticking around and uh, waiting patiently for another video. Hopefully, I'll have another one out here in a, another couple weeks. Uh, but as always, uh, go ahead and don't subscribe to this channel. Don't do it. I'm serious. YouTube says if I get any more subscribers that they'll kill me. Excellent! Alright guys, this is where I normally do my shoutouts, or I was planning to normally do my shoutouts before I went and disappeared for three years. It's a long story. If you're interested, I'll, I'll, I can upload a video to explain, but otherwise, I'm just gonna press on, get back to doing my videos normally like I used to do, and hopefully we can all just forget about this and move on with our lives. But anyway, since I don't have any shout-outs to do right now, I was just gonna read read off some comments from my last video, and uh, if you guys want a shout-out, just leave me a comment. I read all my comments. I don't get near enough comments for me to not be reading them. So, if you want a shout-out, just let me know. But anyway, Christian Cortez writes, I had started thinking about this channel a lot recently. Not sure why I was wondering where it went, I guess. Technically, it never went anywhere. The channel's always been here for your viewing pleasure. Your question is where I went. Um, that's a long story. Like I said, not gonna get into it, but technically the channel never went anywhere. I am question mark says, finally you upload something new. Lol, I still remember when we worked at Walmart. Oh, how time flies. Who is this? Who, who is this? Yes, yes I did work at Walmart, but I don't, I don't think I gave away too many, uh, I don't, I don't think I told too many people about the channel. So, I, I re I'd like to know who this is. There might be, I, it's a couple people who I'm thinking of, but I, I wanna be sure. Sethy Boy writes, ooh, now you've got my interest even more. Can't wait to see what you're doing, man. Uh, well, I hope it was worth the wait, because this is it, this is, this is what I've been up to. <laughs> but, uh, uh, what's up, Sethy Boy, how you doing? Bloody Bath Stream says, nice to see this channel kind of got somewhere. Don't lie to me. Don't, don't, don't come to my channel and patronize me, okay? I didn't get anywhere, all right? I, okay, I got maybe somewhere, but not, not, I'm not nearly where I was hoping to go. Hi, I'm Inny says, okay, so it's basically been a year. How long is soon? You know what? <laughs> I... I guess that was my fault. I shouldn't have put soon because it was like uh, I had planned to do something before the start of my last semester, but unfortunately, just uh, I had moved into a new house and I had to 
basically get the entire house set up the way that I needed it to uh, to work, basically, and it took a, a lot longer than I was anticipating. Crave for more just gave me a, a sleeping emoji. Z Z Z. All right, th thank you. Thanks, thanks for that. S snoozing it up. Jude Ellen says, "Interesting." Dot dot dot. Don't lie to me. Don't, don't lie. So anyway, guys, that's all I got for this uh, for this shout out session. But uh, if you guys want a shout out in the next video, just go ahead and leave me a comment on this video, and uh, I will get around to uh, the shouts, the shouts, the shout outs. Uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and as always, this has been Russia Human. I'll see you guys next time.